Welcome back to another episode of Conscious Clear Self Session. Sorry, with these headphones in because I'm doing a podcast as well. Um, but I wanted to welcome any new followers to our channel. First, I wanted to start today's video off on being tough. As in the world that we live in, being nice is not always beneficial. And sometimes things that we want will slip through our hands because we played our cards all wrong. Now, when it comes to being tough and not taking anything from anyone, most people first look at it like some angry person walking around going off on people. But that is not the case, as it all depends on how you manage your toughness and a discipline that is associated with it in order to get what you want, but at the same time not come off as someone that people can use and abuse. So... Let's get started. So tell me, what are you going to do with the time that you have left on this earth? In my opinion, if you don't change yourself, you could pass up or miss the best time in your life. Think about it as like the Virgin Islands in this season of your life. Because we have to change the way that we think. We have to change the way that we function and go about our day. We definitely have to change the way that we deal with issues and problems and heartbreaks. And the reasons why you have to change the way that you think, the way that you function and the way that you feel, is that we many times are stuck between lines of limited thinking, limited abilities, limited ideas limited philosophies, and limited people. And there is something creative inside of you saying, let there be. You need to walk into a situation where you've been locked up and tied up and tangled up and say, let there be light in this motherfucker. Let there be healing. Let there be books. Let there be knowledge. Let there be change. So you may feel that you have tried, what, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or even ten different things to fix that situation or to work out some problem or to conquer some go. But you probably worked on it for 90 days or less and then you expected it to work. Tell me, how do you expect to become a leader within a 90 days test? Of course it didn't work out because you didn't stick to it long enough. You didn't fight hard enough. You didn't do what it took to win. And rather than to connect it and get it right, you just walked away from it and tried something else. And for the last, say, 5, 10, 15 years of your life, you've been on the run from one thing to the next thing to the next thing and trying to make it all work out. Stop it. Things will work out. Wounds will heal. You have to have the courage to live with the pressure and the criticism as conquering new levels brings new devils. You have to be tough. You have to be tough in order to be able to stand it. Now, being tough and keeping and trying to keep other people encouraged while you secretly worry to death yourself... It's hard. It's tough not being able to get the water electric and car no paid. It's tough. But what do we do in these moments? Do we just have them and wait for their next one? Almost like a junkie seeking their next high? Is it possible that we are just addicted to the moments and situations without being able to take that moment or situation and use it strategically to do something that would form a change in our lives? You do not have to accept it the way that it is. Somewhere inside of you, there's creativity and solutions. We have to break out of the barriers and the limitations and get outside of the box as something is about to happen in your life. The harder the problem or issue you're going through, the greater the reward at the end. But you have to take it one day at a time. And when you get to the end of the day, and lay your head down, you tell yourself that you are not finished, but you've done everything you were supposed to do that day, that time, that season. And then you wake up and step right back into your dreams. If you do this, you will be able to do the now in a way that you have never been able to do it before. 
realize you have not sung your best song yet. You have not danced your best moves yet. You have not conquered your greatest idea yet. You have not had your greatest day or your greatest laugh yet. But somewhere inside of you, it is. You are a miracle looking for a place to shine. You have all types of great things that are inside of you that are about to come forth in a time where you least expect it. It's all a test. Yet, it will happen at the right time. When the stage is set right for you, when the conditions are all in order, something awesome will happen in your life. But you have to appreciate the process. Don't let anyone tell you that you're too old or that you're too young or that you're not smart enough. As every day you wake up in the morning, it is a sign that the best has yet to come. This has been another episode of Conscious Clear Sofa Sessions. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And visit our website at www.consciousclears.com where you can find more information or book your one-on-one. -on -one. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on our next episode.